even this it is just the same uh, copy of it so you just have to make uh, replica duplicate copies of that so it is like it looks like different uh, but when you are just dividing that into different pieces so this piece is separate which is having the same duplicate copy of that and inside what you are seeing is uh, this is again you have one more copy of that which is duplicated or okay. so to do this kind of objects uh, so we can just import so first you set the project let's go and find create a project window and this is no and it is in the same class accept it and whatever the reference you have so you need to st uh, store inside the same folder so let's bring that out so save image and i'll just save uh, the inside the same folder my class so it is nubs and inside the source images you need to save that so whatever the images are there save it and everything is saved there now if i want to import that in the front view go to view image plane import image and you can see that image is over here same project path so you got it okay so the image is little perspective so we need to see that how we can just do that so using the spline and just have a duplicate copies of it so this is little perspective image just keep it back and I start drawing that. So first thing, uh, one shape you want to create, you can use the curve and extrude it. So this is the shape, right? So you can just use some kind of curve tool. So go to create, curve tool, CV curve tool, and then let's start adding from this point. So just to want to get that uh, visual still here. So let's make it a little. Press enter. Okay, so now for uh, extruding, uh, so I can just go to curve and this time I just use this circle and I just want to make it uh, into a very small size. This one. So scale it, press R, let's scale it down. Scale it down like this. And go to the vertex and make it over here, move it up. And let's start uh, adjusting the shape of this from the top view. So go to the top view, right click, control vertex, and then start adjusting. So I just want rounded shape like this. This also should be flat. This also. Uh, so when you are using this rectangle, it will be separate, separate. Each line will be separate. So then you have to attach it and then do it. So if I am just drawing this rectangle, right? So if you draw this rectangle, so each uh, line is separate on it. So that's why I am just using the same circle. Uh, so it is much easy for us to delete. Right. And just make it very, very thin. So we don't want this much thick text like this. So this will be the size of that and go to vertex, start scaling it, uh, make sure to press R and just start scaling it also, yes, that's fine. Okay, so once this is done, now we have to select this object and this path. So this is the path which we have and we have to start extruding this. So if you want to snap it exactly to the center of the vertex, uh, you can select this. And here you have snap option or V. V is a shortcut to snap it. Now select, shift select this. Now go to surface and you have X2. Okay, so uh, how much do you want that? And now reverse that, so go to surface, reverse direction. So you can just see this. Okay. So anytime you feel that the thickness of that has to be adjusted. So go for this, press R and then you start scaling it. So I can just scale like this. So adjust the thickness of this also. Adjust the thickness of this. 
So now I think that this is fine. Now we need to make sure that it is duplicated. So let's select this object. So once this is done, I just want to now the pivot point is exactly in the center. So we have to just rotate now. So press E, Control D, rotate like this. See how much you want the uh, distance over here. So if you want like this and keep on pressing Shift D. Can we automatically start the animation? Yes. Sir. Huh. So if I just press shift D. No, by pressing the putting the value that yeah, that was and so. So this is one object and we can just have a duplicate copies of this uh, which is like this. Or if you just want to set it, you should know the value properly. So and how many copies you want, that also you should know. So I don't know how many copies you want, so I can go to this uh, duplicate with transform. Okay, so duplicate with transform. Uh, if I just click on this or we go for duplicate special this time, and here we can set it how many number of copies I want. Uh, if I just click on this, select go for world or uh, this parent, this something else over here. Uh, I just switch off this duplicate input graph and I have this rotation, you have this scale, and all this. And how many number of copies you want? So, first thing you need to find it out how much distance you want. Come forward. No, I, I get the price for it. Okay. So if you want to use that uh, duplicate copies of that, right? So you can just press Control D and just make it. Uh, so you you don't know exactly what value you want to do. So rotate it over, and you need to check that value. So it is minus. It is sixteen degree or minus sixteen degree. So copy that value. Now I delete this. So that is what uh, here. So uh, in which axis you have? X. Press X or Y. Right. And how many number of copies you want? So first you want uh, 30 copies. So you can just copy and just apply that. Okay. okay. Uh, so number of copies, I, I think everything is set over there only. So just select this and just check. Control D, check the number of copies. So this is rotate Y. So delete and then uh, you can set it on. So number of copies, how much you want? Uh, you can add it. So just apply. I think everything is uh, coming in the same place for some reason. Let's take it 10. So like this and so this, uh, let's group this, uh, control G, and then I can just have control, edit, duplicate special, reset that whole thing, and just we have, uh, make it 16. Now, okay, so uh, now we have that, but here uh, we need to find it out exactly how many copies you want. So it is difficult, so it is better you can just have like this, just duplicate it, uh, press E, Control D, move this and keep on pressing Shift D. So it is better you can just know how many copies you are required for that. Keep pressing Shift D until you reach that final uh, thing, so just bring it over. This is extra. Okay, so that distance, uh, we can just find it out how much you want. And we can just do that. Work. So, control Z. Just rotate. I think the special is more complicated. Which one? More specific. Uh, yeah, so you need to know exact value of that and then you have to add that. So, control D. Just rotate. Now, shift D. So, shift D will be better. You can just keep on doing that. Keep pressing shift D and last. And this is done. And how do we merge all the things? You can just select everything and group it. Control G. Control G when I press it becomes a single group. Still surface, right? The polygon here? Which one? It is still surface, right? Yes, yeah, still surface. You can turn into polygon. So this is the surface only. So now we have this kind of shape, and here you want something to be closed. Uh, top part you want something to be closed. Now we can just close that. 
uh, using this. Okay. Uh, so just start doing this. So for that, stop talking. So if I just go to the create here also inside the polygons, we have a lot of uh, options over here. So if I just go for this polygon, so here we have something called helix. Okay, so helix will give that kind of uh, rotation if I just click on this helix. So if I just go over here, you can just see. It. Because I want uh, this kind of rounded uh, pattern over here. Okay, so it is like a single wire and I am just using this helix over here. So if I just go for a uh, radius, if I increase the radius amount over here, the width of it you want to adjust the width of that over here and this is the radius so how much you want to adjust now this is what we have so if i just increase the number of coils you can also change the number of coils over here so how much you want for that now if i press r you can just scale Okay, uh, so here we can just change the height of that and width of this uh, over here in this direction and we can just see that everything will be uh, done with this. So this is using the polygon, uh, but when you are creating using the nubs, so we just want some kind of nubs and just create it separately. So use the circular shape, press R, let's click on this, move it up and then I just place it over here, press R, scale it. And for this also we need the same thickness uh, for that object, right? So we have this another curve. Okay, so the same curve I'll duplicate it, Control D, move it up. And for this uh, you want to add it. So uh, whatever this curve is not open now, uh, I cannot directly apply that to this. So if I just select this one and this one and go to surface and then just try to extrude that it doesn't work because it doesn't know the path uh, it is where to start and where to close so you need to select this curve and you need to open that curve over here so i'll just uh, select everything what are the extra parts so here we have the layer option you can hide that into one layer so you don't select that now it is done i can just select i just delete this extra surface and one more thing i just want to bring this out of this so you want to bring this circle out of that object you can just uh, click and middle mouse and drag it outside okay so hold middle mouse button and drag it outside so that circle will be out of that and now i can see this uh, circle which is already okay. now move this so check the pivot point of this in a proper place this is also there now let's you want to rotate like this, rotate like this. So go to the top view. So in the top view, it is better. So when you are rotating, and here if you want to type the value, so it is minus 90. This should be zero. This also should be minus 90. So you get the exact rotation of it. Now this is fine. Okay, so move it up and let's cut this uh, curve so to cut or open the curve you can just right click curve point and select that point over here okay so this is the point i want to open it so go to the curve option and if i just uh, go over here so you can just see that we have an option for open or close curve so i can open that uh, particular curve from this so if i just click on this open or close curve from that point or uh, we can also detach it so there is one more detach option. So if I go for detach, now we can just see this. So it has detached that uh, curve into. Okay. So don't use that open and close curve. So you just use the curve point and click on this detach. So you want to attach, you can attach it or you want to detach, you can detach the curve. And now we can just see this. So it is done. Okay. So any of this point, go to the curve point, select and detach uh, so there will be some opening but we can just use now for doing it. now select this and this path and go for surface and extrude over here so just start extruding and you'll have this okay so this part will be uh, if you want to close that you have to go to the surface 
and uh, here also we have this option for open and close so you can just close that surface also okay so depending on how much we want to adjust now so first you adjust the thickness of that so i just select this thickness press r let's scale this down so how many uh, copies you want for that layers so i can just have the copies of that and if you want to keep it open uh, we can always keep that open uh, copies of that and just duplicate it and attach it so let's select this object now now right click uh, we have hull so what this hull what i'll do is i'll just push this down and if it is overlapping like this okay okay another curve which will be starting from the same point so right click object mode now we have the same uh, thing duplicate it control d and bring this on the top of it okay uh, so this will be another curve uh, which will be overlapping on the top of it so you can just start connecting now so from the same point let's use this and this curve you can adjust it up so this is like manual uh, thing which is doing it up now so this i don't want to bring it let's move this up like this and this will be down okay so from this it will come and again uh, one more loop of the circle okay so you can attach all this circle together and once only you want to do the loop of that uh, you can do like that also so first you connect all these circles uh, one after another uh, over here now suppose again one more so control d move it up so this should be connected with this right whatever this circle is to be connected with this so you can attach both the curves so go to attach and now this is you got this curve like a ring now this is like a single uh, curve which we have it okay again you want to duplicate now you can just have that duplicate so edit delete all by type history now again duplicate it control d move it up and you attach this to which one not on the height inside so just scale it each circle whatever you are doing it uh, just scale uh, inside it so you can so just scale that press r and just scale it so one inside another again control d scale it inside you just need to attach that the uh, principle is same so if i just do for this to this you just want to attach uh, this curve with this so you can just go curves and attach that to that curve so which is the curve so sometimes when the curve is attaching some of this curve and uh, this curve i just select it uh, so if this point is attaching to this point you need to see that where the starting point of the curve is it will attach to that so if i just select this one and right click control vertex and you can just see this uh, dot so that is the starting point of the curve and if i just select this object since it is a duplicate of it here also you have the starting point of it so what will happen is it will try to connect that starting point so go to curves and here we have reverse direction so now if i just go to control vertex you can just see that. the starting point shifted over here and this is what we have so now if you just try to attach this to this point uh, now you can just see the starting point of that will change if i just go to attach so wherever the starting point of that curve is it will try to attach to that particular point over there okay so first uh, previously what we have done uh, before scaling i'll just do it and we can scale also so i'll just show this okay so we have this let's have a duplicate copy of that control d move it up let's attach this curves attach and go to control vertex delete this extra and now you can just start scaling it out so just start select all this curve scale it inside press r just scale it inside and push it down then second one again you have to scale it uh, select all this top part 
Office, I'll bring it down. So now we can just uh, bring it all the circles down. So just select everything, scale it down, and then you can start scaling it inside. So every time you need to start selecting the circles, and you need to push it below it. So just make sure that it is in the same line of it here. So this is different. You can just delete now. Okay, so that's how we can just try adding that. So if you, this is one way or you can just attach different different circles and then you can connect it uh, to each other, uh, that kind of shapes. So that is also one more way. So if I just go to this hull, you can just select this whole hull object and if you want to scale it, press R, you can just scale it. So that will select the whole uh, object over here. So this is the two options. So either you can go for vertex or this hull. Okay. So this is what we have, now we just want to again extrude from the same point, I will just delete this point, so select this one and select this extrude path, then again just go for surface and extrude. So now it is creating some other place, uh, you can just see that over here. So uh, whenever you want to do that, what will happen over here is, so if I am just using this uh, as an uh, extrude point. If I just click on this, uh, you can also separate the curve and the pivot point of the curve will be at a some different place. That's why uh, it will go at some different uh, place. So you have to select this isoform. Go to surface or curves. Duplicate surface curve. So what will happen is it will create a duplicate copy of that uh, curve in the same place. Now go to modify. Center pivot. Not as now we can just start extruding from the same uh, layer. Let's delete this one. So this is what we have. I'll select this curve. So I just want to select like this where this curve is there. So let's just delete it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we can select it, but I don't know whether I have deleted that. So go to this nub surface. Yeah. So show, select the isoform, I think it got deleted, duplicate surface curve. Now hide this nerve surface so we know this and go to modify, center pivot. Okay, so now we just want to extrude from uh, this part. So again go to this vertex, select this one, right click vertex and you want to snap that to this, you can also snap this to that. And now we can just have this uh, point over here, right click object, select this and this and then start extruding that surface and then uh, extrude. So still, yeah, it is not, okay, so, okay, so now it will be fine in the same place. Okay, so just reverse the direction of that, so we have this reverse direction. Now, if you want to combine these two objects together, also we can just uh, combine it uh, or attach this to this. So, if you want to attach two objects, you can attach it. Or anytime you feel that you need to detach any of these objects, see here, uh, there is some kind of detachment has to be done or change this hull. So, right click, hull, click on this hull object and then you start uh, moving it. So, you need to see this, whether this is separate. So snap is on, switch out. Okay, so we have a separate hull over here. We can just start adjusting. This should be down. And this is one more hull. We just need to pull this. So there are two of these objects, I think. Uh, two hulls are there over here. To pull this one. So using this hull option, uh, we can always adjust the shape of this, so this has to be down. So just find it out uh, where this hull is, so pull this up. So if it has to push inside, you want to push it inside like this, start adjusting that, push it inside. Okay. So here there are two points, so you need to select both the hulls. So, so you can just see two segments are there, both the things has to be selected, start adjusting that. So zooming, select that hull, 
start pushing it. Zoom in, select that and start pushing it. So this is how you want uh, all the shapes. So just start adjusting the hulls of this and then start pushing it inside and you have this proper shape for it. Okay. So this also, let's push it inside. Push it inside. So both of this uh, you need to select it and then you have to uh, push down also. So you have to push it in the same line. So this is how it will be uh, that shape, right? So just start adjusting and go to this view. Then start placing it in the same place. So right click object mode and you have this. So you want to connect uh, this with this object. Uh, so either I can uh, attach it or you can also use this lock. So just bring it down. Now you can select both of this object, this and this and you can go to surface and here we have two attach options. Uh, so one is attached directly. Okay, so once I attach that, it is going to come like this directly, it is going to connect between that. So, or attach without moving. So, when I want to attach without moving, I just go to select this, right click, select this, and click on attach without moving. So, it will attach that object without moving. And when we are attaching that, uh, it, is, it is going to create separate geometry also. So, here also, there are two options, connect. Or blend. So if you want that smooth uh, transitions, you can use blend. If you just want to directly connect, uh, you can just directly connect between this. So if I just go and attach now, so it will directly connect to that object. Okay. Uh, suppose if the sh shape is changing uh, from here, so you can also add one more segment over here. So as a firm, select this. I want some segment here also and insert. So here also I just want some segments and insert. So when you are attaching that it won't shift it now. So if I just go and attach, now it is proper. Previously the shape was changing. Uh, so once I add this uh, attach over here, so now we have this surface which is over here. Now switch on this, yeah, this something which will be on the top of. So you need to have a duplicate copies of that. Control D, press R, let's scale this, modify, center pivot. Just want to use the same copy of that inside it just to fill that. Okay, so now uh, we just start creating some kind of base uh, object for this. So it is like flat surface which is closed inside this, right? This is like closed flat surface. So either you can just use direct uh, some of the shapes. So if I just want everything to be created over here, so uh, let's use some kind of this path curve tool. So just need to figure it out where this is starting. It's about this point, right? So I'll just start by creating this point over here. And let's use the revolve for this. Okay, press or uh, let's, because it has to be closed, uh, it, the line has to come over here. So delete. So since this is a closed surface, you can just bring it like this. So if it is some kind of plate or something. So everything will be just using the revolve tool. Sorry. So this is what we have. Uh, so make sure that it is nice and rounded. So go to the vertex and press W, start adjusting this to just make this round plate kind of thing. And this should be much bigger size. So I can just select it, push it till this point. Okay, and then you give the revolve for this. So what will happen is you will get that closed surface. And go to surface and revolve. Have this. And now go to surface, reverse direction of it, and we have this closed. What is this black? Which one? Black. This one? Uh -huh. This one. Okay, so that is because I think uh, I deleted the curve. Now I'll just make this control D, E, and rotate. So it is the normals were reverse. 
So I have this now. So control D again, bring it later down. So I have this two surface which we have it over here just to close that. Just close that surface over here. So top also just you want to add some uh, thing which is like this now. So you can just add for using only the curve tool, right? So just go for the curve tool now again. So this is hollow part. So you can just start adding this. Uh, Closing that, so I'll just use this same thing. Bring this down. Uh, so draw a little much closer. So if you want uh, to be sharp, right? So I'll just draw much closer the lines, and then make it. Okay. okay? Uh, instead of this, uh, if I just use circle also, so just make the use of the circle which is already closed. So what I have to do is press J, rotate that, press R, scale it down. So this is the path I want to rotate. So I will just check here also. So which is the point I want this, so at this point. So press R now, scale it, press R, just adjust that size of this and go to the vertex. I just want to make it like this square shape. Okay, so if you feel that some extra point has to be added, uh, you can add it. So go to curve point, start adding extra points over here. Okay, then go to the curves, insert knot. So as soon as I add that insert knot, I can just see that extra points will be added and I can just scale it more tightly this. This also more tight. See, all this I can just select now. Okay, more. Tight scale. So as soon as I add the extra points, it will be much uh, better shape. Yeah. Okay. So the pivot point of this, if I just keep it over here in the center, so press D, adjust the pivot point of this over here, and then you do revolve. So already it is the closed surface. Now if I just go to surface and revolve it, so you get that shape automatically. Okay. So uh, how these uh, objects are there, so if you want it to be little more height, now you decided that it has to be more height. So select this vertex, control vertex and just select this part, move it up. So I want little more height for this object mode. And then again you go for surface and revolve. So we have this nice. Okay, so now this part. So the same process again for this part also. So it is also having the same uh, shape for it. So you can just start by adding some kind of circular shape over here. So we already have this one. So control D, move it over here and this is the path I just need to connect. Right? So just make it in this place. Now let's draw the path of which one? This? This is one. There is one more, which is down. Yeah, so this is, there is one more over here. It is only one. <laughs> okay. So now I have this, uh, and if you want to adjust now the path, so let's draw the path again from here to uh, this path. So just go to CV curve tool, let's start drawing from this point, let's start drawing it up, backspace and then start drawing it over here, the center, so I just want to adjust the shape properly, so just start adjusting the shape properly. Okay, so now what you can do is you can also attach uh, or duplicate the same shape, right, so we already have this shape. So control D and inside this minus, uh, I'll just change it to minus 1. So we have same copy of that over here. And you just attach both of these curves together. So go to curves and attach it. So I can just make only the half part of it and just make this. Now go to the vertex. So there is extra vertex over here, delete. So whatever you feel that is extra, start deleting that. So delete this also. 
this you feel that this is extra really okay so just to get the shape wherever you want you can add it now let's start extruding this so select this part this one now surface extrude now go to surface again reverse direction yes. and now you want to change the scale of this right so i just go to this hull select this press r and then scale it so if you just want at the shape of this to be changed okay so while doing this you can just work on both the sides so go to the vertex and go to this view press 4 on your keyboard to see the wireframe 4 is for wireframe 5 for shaded so when i press 4 i can see the wireframe and then you can start scaling it so i want like this now it is done okay so this side also if you feel that it has to be scaled uh, you can just scale it now so press r scale it like this and then move it okay. so let me show you the the model to where so it has to be surface or surface okay. so this is the this week submission will be only the surface no polygon mm -hmm. so whatever you are doing it should be done in surface one, not smartly one okay so later stage when you are doing the texturing that is where we convert that into polygon so the process in game industry is make this surface that polygon that to obg to c brush hmm and, uh, uh, so uh, whichever is easy way so if you feel that uh, nubs it is easy you start with nubs then convert to polygon then you go for z brush okay and substance painter for texture texture So now we have all this uh, different different uh, shapes, right? So inside also, I just need to create uh, and the UVs, this part. Where is better to make the UVs? Which one? On wrap the model. Huh? Where is easier in Maya or Maya. ZBrush? Maya. Nice. Maya. Uh, ZBrush it is easy, but you won't get a proper unwrapping inside ZBrush. Mm -hmm. So you have to do inside Maya, Max, or there are different softwares for that also. Maya. Separate uh, softwares are there for unwrapping only. Okay, so now we'll just add this uh, inside part, which is over there. So let's start making that again. Duplicates, copy of that. Or if I can just use this torus. So we also have this torus option. So if I just want to use that as a torus, open this radius. And uh, here we have this uh, height ratio, uh, start and sweep sections, spans. We so just start to see this. So height ratio, I'll just make it point zero five. Just press R. Let's scale this. This point. Uh, and this part, if it has to be flat, uh, you can just go to hull. Now, which are this part, you can just select it, just scale it to make that flat. This part also. So just select this one. and you have to scale it outside this uh, which is the inside hull to the object mode okay so if you want to isolate any object uh, click on this button which is having the isolate select so you can just isolate and then i can just work only on this so this so this is the hull press r and just scale it so just to make it flat select this one a little out now it is done now end isolate and we have this shape which is over here for that plate and just have a duplicate copy of the same thing control d move it up place it scale it down now that's it okay so over a little down you want adjust that down and we are also just start moving it little more And just start. Make sure that it is uh, connecting to that. It should not be separate. Yes, yes, select. Select it over here also. Okay. So it's done. Now, which one? Yeah. So that we just add one uh, shape. That's it. Just revolve it. So go to the curve tool. 
I can just select everything and just hide it into some layer, create a new layer, hide it and then you start adding that uh, part which is that wooden part which is here. So another is there. I think it is uh, three or four wooden parts is there which is connected to that. Uh, I just need to rotate it. You see this one part here, two, three. Okay, so even that has to be uh, added uh, over there so that you just find it. Square shape and then duplicate. Or this part first, I can just finish it. Uh, this is another one more circle which is there. So I think I can just uh, copy the same thing which is here. Okay, so Ctrl D, move it down, press R, just scale it down to the size of that same size. And surrounding this, you have four uh, box uh, straight lines over there. So you can just use the same uh, straight lines. Okay, so using revolve you want to do, or here also we have this nub uh, surface. So if you want to use the cylindrical uh, nub surface, I have this cylindrical shape, and I just want to use that. So this is what we have cylinder, and how many segments you want? So if you want only four segments, press one on your keyboard uh, to see that in a this square shape. One is a shortcut, or uh, three when it is there, it will be smooth. When I press 1, it is hard surface. Okay, so whatever the object you want to make it hard, you can just make it by pressing 1. By pressing 3, it will be smooth. Now, the same thing if you just want to increase the number of spans for this. I can increase the number of spans and you just need to rotate this properly. So, go to control vertex, select all this, rotate it. Now, move this inside. And let's scale that over here. So press R, let's scale it. You start scaling this out. You just start scaling it up. So however the way it should be. Okay, so how that uh, object is now depending on that object shape. Shape that out. You just bring it over here. So just Adjust that over here, bring it up. So, if it is like this, I just want to connect it over there. Put it over there. Okay, so the same thing you will be duplicating now. Uh, whatever the object I have created, uh, just start duplicating. So, select this one and the pivot point of this. So, that is where you have to press D, adjust that into the center of that and let's have a duplicate copy of that. Okay. So, control D, rotate and duplicate. So, how much? Minus 90 degree. So, shift D, shift D, done. Okay, so any of this part you want to add it, uh, you can just start keep on working on this. Okay, so once this is done, uh, now to render this image of this, uh, whatever this, you can just select all the things, right click, assign new material. So I am just applying some material to this and I am just apply this called Arnold shader. Just use AI standard surface. So that's what I will be doing it and let's add some kind of plane below. Press R, let's scale it. Suppose if I just want to still scale much bigger size, suppose like this. Okay, for this also assign new material, just use AI standard shader again. So this will be adding that out here. So same material I have applied. Now to add some light, go to Arnold, light, and here we have sky dome. So I'm just using this sky dome to do that. So once I add that sky dome, so it will apply uh, light for the whole scene. Uh, now exposure little bit you increase, and you just want to check the render of this. Open or not render view. I can just start checking that. Out. 
Okay, so it is having too much light into the scene now. So what you can do is you can just reduce this exposure value. So exposure value I'll just keep less and go and check it over here. So just keep on render. Yes. Okay, so we need to reduce little bit of intensity of this. So shift. Uh, you can see that camera setting resolution git. So you will know where your object is. So it was not rendering. So I'll just keep it like this. And now if I just go and uh, it reduce the intensity of this 0.5. And let's render this. Now we have this. Okay, uh, now you are seeing a lot of noise. Uh, this is what, so we need to avoid that noise. Uh, so you can select the light and here we have samples. So I can just go for 4 or 5. Let's make it 8 samples for this. Uh, so we can just reduce the number of noise. So let's preview that. Okay, so once this render is done, uh, you will see this now. Okay, so it takes time uh, to do that render, even the noise will be removed, uh, so we can just see that it slowly started removing all this noise also. So it takes time to render that one, uh, see, depends on the movie, sir. Huh, depends. so it will take some time to do that, so just give some base color for that and we can just render it, so uh, I just don't want this white, uh, so for the ground, let's give a little bit of grey. Color and for this object, I just want to do something just like this wood. Yeah, so just use whichever you like. So this. Okay. So now this uh, color for that. Let's see. And this is why you can just will be separating the images. So you have to save that image, uh, go to file, uh, save image. Once you render it, you have to submit with this. So whatever the model you are doing, just add the light to it, uh, just render like this and submit. Different, different views you want to do, different views you can uh, showcase and submit. So once it is done, I'll just see this once. Uh, How is it? Which sir? Oh, it's not wireframes, screenshots? No screenshots. Oh, wireframes. No? Wireframe, uh, for now it is not required. Some Later stage, because this is NURBS modeling. Mm -hmm. So wire, uh, the line flow will not be that much good inside. Okay, so when you convert to polygon, you want to do it, no. do that. Now this is what we have, save the file, go to file, save image. And what is the thing you want to save it, so this is like final render, save it and done. So that image uh, we have it over here, so, so they are this. Okay. Uh, so if you, there is some kind of noise uh, and you want to remove this noise is there still. Uh, so if you want to remove that, uh, we need to increase the render quality over here and that is going to take time. So go to this option, uh, so if I just come down to rendering, render, render settings and what we have to do it over here is we need to uh, either increase the resolution and inside this R0 we have to increase this samples for camera AA. So if I just increase to 6, okay, so uh, it is increasing this, so you can just see that diffuse samples it is increasing, uh, if it is 2. The samples of this diffuse is 16, uh, specular is 16 and all this transmission samples are 16. If I increase it to uh, around suppose 8, so you can see the quality of this is much better over here. Uh, the sample rates are much better and it will take time also same time uh, to render it. So if I just go to this now render current frame, this is what. We don't know how much time it will take. Is this the same that we use in 
Huh. So that is for previewing the final render you have to do it inside this. The final is this or Arnold is this? Arnold is just for preview. So now this is the final. You can just see the quality of this. Uh, uh, so it is directly rendering. So that is real time render what you see inside Arnold. So any changes you do you can check it. Then when you are happy with it then you go for the final render. So there will be no noise inside this. Okay, so now we can just see that. So I assume for presenting you, we use the final render or? Final render. Okay. <laughs> now we can just see there is no noise over here. Uh, you cannot see any kind of noise inside the scene. Fine. Let's see. It takes time. So there are different types of uh, basket, uh, you can search for uh, bamboo basket, if you want to try. Is there a lantern? It's a lantern. So uh, you can just see this result. I think for ZBrush we have to make those people who would adjust this, right? Yes, sir? For Sigmar, we have to make this adjustment where they have. Yeah, so even this. So you just see whichever uh, you want to do. Try this kind of shapes or this kind of for now. So now this is a little bit of more complicated. It is one is coming out, uh, uh, one is going inside. So if I just want to do this kind of shape. So it attaches the vertex for uh, that. See, one is bending inside, then it is going out, then it is bending inside the shape. You make two, you make two options, and then you make copy, copy, scale, Yeah. So only two curves you need to only one curve you adjust and rotate that curve. Uh -huh. So you'll get uh, one side inside, one side out. Okay. So just think that it is it it looks uh, like this, and first you have to create this Support. rods. And then you add this, uh, so it will be easy. So you need to see how many number of vertex are required for creating this. So try doing this. It looks uh, simple, but it is difficult. So you need to understand how to how many segments are required, where it is going inside, where it is going out. So just try uh, doing that. Lantern you have to do, and you can try this also. So two objects and nerves. Uh, no polygon, everything should be nerves. Next week will be polygon. So this week you just uh, work only on the nerves. So out of the doubts you have, you can just ask for that. And see this, how much time it will take to render this. Still it is. So this is for one frame. If you are uh, making a video of it, if you want to show the video of that product, it is going to take more time. It might take uh, months to render. The system is <laughs> so one product animation. If you are doing, uh, it might take some uh, one month to render. If per day you are rendering 30, 30 frames, depending on how much uh, big that uh, time duration is. If it is one minute, it will take more time. So you need to calculate that timing of this. Uh, here only. So if it is taking for one frame around 5 minutes, so you need to calculate the timing and you have to decide that okay after this 10 days or 20 days I will be uh, ready with that full final render of that. So that's how uh, the client will ask the duration for the project and uh, if you see that render and you should be knowing that how much time it will take for rendering. You might finish the work but render won't finish and you cannot show to the client. So you need to calculate the timing for how much time it is, one minute, one frame it is taking. Depending on that, uh, you calculate the timing of it and then you tell to the client 
this is what time it is going to take for the whole project to finish it might take so brave movie anyone sees son brave brave you see how much time do you think it will take to render one frame for brave movie how much time i do you think it would story story big selling 90 but i think each render was 15 hours Hmm. Each render. <laughs> and that was in 95. Now, even for the brave, uh, it took around 24 hours. One frame. <laughs> Not the entire thing. It's one frame. The rendering only has gone for two years. <laughs> the movie will finish one year and the rendering goes around two years. So that's why the VFX movies and all these things we see. No? So all that uh, VFX part. the rendering part takes lot of time that's why it takes lot of filming, time to finish that filming a movie with vfx to three months for hmm. the vfx vfx goes for long one year one year for rendering like, now you see this this no noise clean it is clean and you just save that and then you save it and submit that for other marks huh <laughs>